What's happening guys? I'm gonna make this vlog a little bit short. Um, as you can see from the title, yes, I may have accidentally broke the car. And I wanna to get to that, but before I get to I wanna give a massive shout out to Chris and of course Ricky. So Ricky for obviously featuring me on the channel. I'll leave the video link in my description, of course, to Chris, the number one guy who's actually looking after my car. And of course, he's just fixed it. That guy puts his heart and soul into every build he makes. Honestly, I rate him big time. But guys, as you can tell from the title, I may have accidentally broke the M140i, which is the reason why I haven't actually got the time to make the first drive video because I haven't actually had the car. Um, so basically, I'll try and make it short. So I did a collab video with Ricky not long ago. As you can see, like I said, it's in the description. So make sure to check it out. It's a good laugh. Uh, we did two videos. Number one, which was a full review on it. Um, number two, it was, we did some, let's say a mini race, did some pulls. The second video is what actually broke the car. I wouldn't say I actually broke, it was part of a cycle, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, so we did a couple of pulls. It was boiling hot that day. So it was not the most ideal thing to be pushing the car to its limits, but we, well, not, I wouldn't actually say to the limits, but we did it anyway. Um, did the first pull, second pull, third pull. And the last pull we did, uh, actually we did three pulls. So the last pull we did. Uh, car wasn't boosting like it usually would which was not a good sign for me. I was like, oh shit I So I've actually got it on my phone before I forget so long story short uh, I'll put a picture up on from my phone with this basically it was just a boost leak from the turbo compressor speed sensor It's just like a tiny little bolt. I'll put a picture of it now Um yeah, so I gave the car back to Chris Dash and he was like, yeah, that's just basically come loose. That was the first thing. The second thing, uh, he did mention there was a small leak from the manifold, uh, which probably sounds, oh my God, scary. But it's not. It's part of the process. It basically has to go through multiple heat cycles in order to adapt, of course, due to heating and all that good stuff. It's all too much for me to explain. But yeah, it goes through multiple heat cycles. But the car is sorted now. And... Now that being sorted, I've left him the car so he can do some logs for me. Because on the video, my car was running a base map. Base, basically, the base map was just for the car not to go in limp mode because of the wastegate. Uh, so that's sorted. So it's not running anything special. It's none, none of that. All none of that stuff. It's now running quite good level, I'd say, in terms of fueling and boost. We're just making a couple of amendments on pump fuel, and hopefully the car should be ready, which is really, really good. I'm looking forward to it. But I was a little bit annoyed at the fact that obviously you know it was i'm the one who put kind of got the temperatures quite high because we do quite good pulls because it wasn't meant to kind of not break but you know what i'm trying to say go loose but it's part of the process all part of the heat cycles um i was expecting it to go to obviously for me to give the car back and obviously him to make the amendments but obviously it became sooner than later but it is what it is i'm glad he's got the car he's logging it he's doing all the good stuff it's going to come back fast is what i'm gonna say which is gonna be really cool it's gonna be really exciting so guys that's I, I just wanted to kind of explain to you guys what's happening because i know some of you guys have been asking me when's the first drive video coming out and i haven't really had the time to explain why it hasn't but here is the explanation but yeah so it should be interesting i uh, it's gonna be really fun this build is gonna be absolutely awesome not only for myself but for you guys that watch me obviously you know it, you're joining me on this journey uh, it's gonna be really really good we're gonna be investing a lot of time into the car and not only that into the abath as well which is really going to be really good but before i cut the vlog off i want to say to you guys as you guys know i'm building the car i want to be absolutely one of one so i want you guys to tell me just any sort of suggestions i could do in terms of handling mods i have looked at a couple of bits and bobs but i want your suggestions in terms of what do you think i could do in terms of making it the ultimate handling machine for what it's for what it is because I'm making it a total street weapon. It's not going to be a track car. It's going to be a total street weapon. That's the plan. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below. I hope I kind of explained that I didn't talk too much, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to stay tuned. And of course, like I said, when the M140i drops at my home, I will be making that first drive video regardless. It doesn't matter of the weather. Let's just hope it's not raining. But yeah, and I'll be posting it straight away that night. So guys, stay tuned. Hit that little thumbnail, not the thumbnail, hit the bell icon so you can see when I post a video. It's gonna be f***ing sick.